right, YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, we will be talking about five reasons why your style sucks. Now, before we get into the actual video, I just wanted to let y'all know this is not a video helping y'all find y'all personal style. Now, if y'all want to learn why I cannot personally tell you how to find a personal style, I did a whole video on the channel on that topic. So after y'all finish watching this video, feel free to go tap into that video. It will help y'all a lot. And also, I want to thank y'all for all the support that y'all been showing me, bro. Like, I see it, bro. Y'all been showing so much support, and I'm trying to get a little bit more consistent for y'all, because I know my videos be a lot more spaced out. I'm trying to bring back consistent time not rich, so feel free to let me know in the comments down below what type of videos y'all would like me to bring to the channel, and I will start filming them videos for y'all. And if you haven't noticed, and you've been watching my channel for a little while, and you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go tap in on the Instagram. I know I've been saying I'm going to get more active on the Instagram for a little bit and I haven't done it but if you didn't notice, bro, I just flicked up recently and I did just post on the Instagram. So go tap in and go show love to them flicks that I just posted. But I'm doing a lot more talking. So we're going to go on the hot straight into today's video. First and foremost, we're going to start off with one of the biggest reasons why your style sucks. And it is because you are listening to others. Now, I cannot stress this enough. I done said this a lot in previous videos, bro. When it comes to style and personal style, bro, y'all got to stop listening to others other people and y'all have to really figure out what you want to wear what you want to resonate with your style and what way you want to go by having your own personal style like you got to figure out what is you bro y'all got to stop letting these people influence y'all into buying and wearing things that is not you bro and for instance let's say you more so let's say you go thrifting with like one of your friends your mother your sister whoever that you're around you go thrifting with them and you're finding things that you like and then you're asking for their opinion that's where a lot of y'all get messed up at when it comes to y'all building your own personal style because one it's losing your self-esteem when they shoot down something that you like basically let's say you found a workwear jacket that you think is really tough and you go ask your best friend that went thrifting with you is this jacket tough and they start telling you how that's terrible that's ugly this and that you're probably gonna put it down right instead of you using your own intuition and going by what you want if you feel like you can rock it bro honestly i'm telling y'all if you feel like you can rock it and you like it nobody else's opinion should matter only your opinion it's going to matter because if you're too busy worried about what they're saying bro that's what's making your process of building your own personal style mess up because you're listening behind what somebody else is saying somebody cannot personally tell you what is good for you and what is terrible for you especially when it comes to fashion bro like you gotta realize everybody has their own mindset and their own mind when it comes to fashion and fashion sense so your fashion sense is gonna be completely different than this person's fashion sense that's why i'm telling y'all like y'all gotta stop listening to other people bro and really so basically just tune out everybody bro when they, when you're shopping and looking for clothes to build your personal style and the wardrobe that you want bro y'all gotta tune everybody out and you literally just gotta shop for yourself and see what you like bro like i'm not saying y'all can't get influenced by people and go purchase things that y'all are seeing other people wear but what i'm saying is purchase it but if you're gonna purchase it bro please tune them out while you're purchasing the item and then figure out how you're gonna resonate that item with you because like a lot of influencers get y'all messed up and y'all mess up your wardrobes and this is why a lot of y'all fits be terrible because you're too busy trying to follow behind the tricks and tribulations that other people did to build their own personal style or build their own outfit like i said bro you can get influenced by them you can buy the piece that they have or similar piece to it but after you get influenced by them completely tune them out look into the piece that you seen that you like or similar pieces to that piece and figure out how you're gonna resonate it to your style and then once you start to resonate it once you start to figure out ways that you can resonate this piece with your style I guarantee you it's gonna start to get a lot more easier for y'all it's gonna start to get a lot more fun for y'all and then y'all might actually start to build a personal style I'm not here to tell y'all how to 
build a personal style because like I did state, your personal style is personal to you. So you have to figure out how you're gonna make this piece personal to your style. But I'm just giving y'all some ways that y'all can do things that's gonna really separate y'all from others. So like I said, when you're trying to build a personal style, bro, you literally gotta tone the world out, bro, and you gotta make it about you, bro, because following behind somebody else's footsteps is not gonna get you where you need to be. So yeah, like I said, stop following behind others. Next reason your style sucks, we gonna knock two birds out and one stone. Now the next reason that your style sucks is because you have nice clothes with no accessories or you have nice clothes with horrific accessories. Now, like I stated in previous videos, accessories is probably one of the most important things when it comes to building an outfit. And I feel like a lot of y'all really forget how important accessories are when it comes to creating outfits. Now, bro, if you add accessories to your outfit, it can make a basic outfit that's a five on a scale go up to a 10 by you just spicing the outfit up a little bit and adding accessories to your fits. Now, I see a lot of fits throughout Instagram of people not adding accessories. That's why your fit is terrible. Like, I'm just playing y'all boys on game. Y'all added a little necklace. Y'all added some rings to your fit. You could have spiced the fit up a little bit, added a fitted hat. You could have added a bag in your outfit. There's just a lot of different types of accessories that y'all can really add to make your outfit a lot more creative and make this outfit look less basic, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, if y'all are not focusing on adding accessories in your wardrobe and you're only trying to buy clothes and shoes bro i'm telling you bro that is what you're missing when it comes to building your style and finding what you want bro because i'm telling you the accessories just make everything a lot better as y'all can see for instance i have this Jaden grundy stainless steel bat chain have y'all noticed bro i literally wear this bat chain with literally everything bro and the reason i wear this bat chain with everything is because this is the perfect piece of jewelry for every single thing that i wear like everything that really resonates with my style really goes with this bat chain that's why y'all see me wear the chain a lot like this is literally one of my favorite accessories and i'm probably gonna be wearing this accessories for years to come it's just instance like y'all see my outfits bro i never create an outfit where i have no type of accessories in the fit i used to do that back then and that's why i was never that's why i never really got to where i wanted to get in the fashion scene because i did not add accessories in my fits bro like all your favorite fashion influencers will tell y'all to spice up your fit by adding some accessories bro so if you're not adding accessories to your outfits bro this is the perfect time to, to start doing it bro i'm telling y'all bro your outfits might just look basic just because you do not have no accessories bro like i'm telling y'all bro like i'm trying to tell y'all bro you gotta add the accessories it's gonna make the process a lot easier for y'all it's gonna make it a lot more fun too you're really gonna start to see what you can wear with what and what you can't wear with what bro i'm telling y'all bro it's all a problem process and y'all just got to do it and i'm telling y'all i know there's a lot of y'all out there that don't really add accessories or y'all don't know how to add accessories and what type of accessories that's why you got to go through the experimental phase to see what type of accessories literally work with you me personally i would tell y'all to go look for some daily accessories like something that y'all know that y'all could possibly wear with everything that y'all have in y'all wardrobe and then once y'all do that then y'all can start adding all types of accessories that y'all can be wearing for occasion to occasion and y'all wardrobe but start off with some daily essential accessories that y'all know that y'all can literally wear with everything that y'all want to wear and then once your style starts to progress and you start to really figure out where you want to go with this style then you can start adding other types of accessories into your fit now for the second part of this reason why your style sucks i said is going to be you have nice clothes but horrific accessories now when i'm saying you have horrific accessories is i'm saying you got the accessories part down right but you don't have the right accessories and you're not wearing the right accessories with the right type of attire if that makes any specific sense like i think i have a channel i think i have a video on the channel that i made like months ago probably six months ago on the channel when i was talking about why accessories is important to your fits and i think there was a tip in that video where i said something about the color of your jewelry does matter like a lot of people don't really tell y'all that but the color of your jewelry does matter you have to really figure out what type of jewelry what type of color jewelry would fit properly with the type of clothes that you're wearing like we obviously know we got silver jewelry and gold jewelry those are like the two most 
color jewelry that y'all see or color accessories that y'all see far as necklaces and rings and bracelets and stuff like that so when, when i'm talking about them two it's because if y'all did not notice right you cannot wear gold with literally everything like you can't bro like there's just certain stuff gold is not gonna look good with and then there's just certain people i feel like don't look good with gold jewelry that's something else i gotta take into accountability not everybody's gonna look good with gold jewelry and that is okay Every, more, a lot more people I feel like a lot more people look better with silver jewelry, but that's off of personal opinion and that's off of stuff that I have seen. Like me personally, bro, I don't have any gold jewelry in my wardrobe. Would I like to add, like to add gold jewelry in my wardrobe? I'm not too sure. I haven't really like stepped into it and tried to really see what I could add gold jewelry to revolve around in my style. And I really do need to get out my comfort zone to just wearing silver jewelry and like basically make my stuff a little bit more versatile but i'm here to tell y'all that it is okay if gold jewelry is just not for you if you tried it you tried it and it didn't work move on go try silver jewelry there's black jewelry there's just all different types of colors and jewelries that y'all could really hop into and then once y'all figure out what type of jewelry is good for you, y'all can throw the horrific accessories that you have out of your wardrobe and start resonating the new types of jewelry that you have. And also with horrific accessories, I'm talking about maybe your hat game is weak because I feel like beanies and fitted caps and trucker hats and all these different types of hats are cool little accessories that y'all can add to spice up outfits, bro. Like y'all know me, bro. Pretty much in most of my outfits on my gram, if y'all have not noticed, bro, I have a hat on. Like, I feel like that's just me, bro. And I feel like, I don't know, the hat just really spiced the outfit up more. Even if you're not trying to do too much off the accessories, bro, you can literally throw a hat on, you can throw a necklace on, and you'll be cool off the accessories. And you can add some rings on. Like, there's just a lot of different things that I feel like a lot of people are not doing, and a lot of people are not making it important when it comes to building a style or even building outfits, bro, because you're gonna have to build outfits out of your style so if you're not wearing the right accessories for your outfits bro that's what's making your horrific accessories not match with the clothes bro like you can have the flyest clothes in the world bro and the clothes that fit on your body perfectly fine but if the accessories is not there and you're not having the right accessories to go with these pieces bro it's just throwing your whole outfit in the dumpster and your whole outfit is trash so like i said bro you can have nice clothes and horrific accessories but you want to have nice clothes and the best accessories to probably fit with those clothes like once y'all get that down bro i'm telling y'all bro ain't nobody gonna be able to tell y'all nothing so y'all gotta start looking into finding these accessories finding the right proper accessories for your outfits and y'all gotta start adding out accessories into your outfits if you're not already doing it so go on and do that bro and i'm telling y'all bro hey you're gonna be tough all right y'all for the next reason your style sucks some of y'all have not bought the like me for this but i'm literally here to stay facts and i'm literally here to help y'all so the next reason that your style sucks is because you think wearing designer gives you the super stylish title now bro i see this a lot when it comes to fashion especially on y'all favorite app by the name of tiktok we all don't heard of tiktok we all stroll on tiktok every single day so i'm pretty sure y'all have seen this as well like a lot of y'all think that just because you're wearing designer that that makes you stylish no bro like i've been stating bro, i've been saying this for years bro brands does not matter when it comes to fashion brands and how much you spent on something does not matter i feel like a lot of y'all get that mixed up especially some of y'all favorite rappers bro they think just because their outfit costs ten thousand dollars that they're more stylish than somebody that went to the thrift and got an outfit for under fifty dollars no bro and my humble opinion like i've been saying this bro and y'all can hate me for saying this or whatever i really do not care i've been saying this for years bro in my humble opinion the person that can go to the thrift store and find an outfit for under 50 dollars is more stylish than your favorite rapper wearing a ten thousand dollar designer outfit that's just me personally because i feel like the people that can go thrift that really separates them from everybody because if you ask some people bro when they go thrifting they never find anything and they never find stuff that they can really feel like they can style there's certain people that are good at thrifting and then there's people that can't thrift at all and personally bro i put 
put your favorite rappers in the can't thrift at all portion because they feel like just because they're spending a lot of more money on clothes that that's making them more stylish than people that are less unfortunate than them so bro like like i said also in previous videos you can take a rapper like take all their money away for a day give them about 150 dollars tell them to go to the thrift store and uh, put an outfit together and I guarantee you they're not going to be able to come outside with a thrift store with a whole outfit because they don't have the fashion sense for it and they have their minds stuck on oh these designer brands are going to make me more stylish just because I go get this whole Da, da Vinci outfit just because I go get this whole Balenciaga outfit I go get this whole Elite's outfit it's going to make me the best dress Chanel y'all boys know how it get and y'all know exactly what I'm talking about bro so we ain't even got to get too much into it but like I'm saying, bro, just because you're wearing designer, that does not make you stylish, bro. Like y'all got to get that out y'all mindset. Now, I'm not saying that y'all cannot add designer into y'all fits and y'all be super stylish because there is ways that y'all could buy similar. There is ways that y'all could buy designer pieces from out from brands. But while you're buying these designer pieces from these brands figure out ways that you can resonate these designer pieces into your style with stuff that you are already wearing bro like you do not have to try to switch your whole demeanor and whole style and go spend countless money on these big designer brands just to think that you're stylish bro that's not helping you be stylish bro you're just spending countless money that you don't need to be spending so like I said, I really do need y'all to get that out y'all mind that just because you're wearing designer that makes you stylish because it does not, bro. If you're one of the ones that's strictly wearing designer, I'm here to tell you, you do not have style and this is why your style sucks and this is why you need to be watching this video because I'm here to tell y'all the facts because a lot of people not going to tell y'all a lot of people not gonna tell y'all this bro like they just gonna let you do what you do but i'm here to help y'all bro because i'm trying and while i try to grow my fashion sense and my style and really elevate with this bro i want y'all to be on the same level and i want y'all to be elevated and i want y'all to be better bro so that's what i'm saying like y'all gotta stop thinking that designer makes you fly because it does not bro you can find ways to resonate these designers into your style and wear it with stuff that you're already wearing and then that's gonna make you fly but if you're just strictly wearing designer and spending countless money bro you're not fly and hey tell them time not rich told you for the next reason that your style sucks is because you're honestly confused and i get it now if y'all been watching the channel for the course of the last three years y'all would know that i was confused at one point i was in the same position that y'all are in right now and in that point that's where i was only strictly wearing skinny jeans like i didn't know anything else about styling out Outfits and anything else about fashion all I knew is strictly I like skinny jeans that's what I was gonna wear and that's what I was wearing and I thought that I would only be wearing skinny jeans up to this point and then fast forward to a year and a half two years later I finally found the desire to get out my comfort zone and started implementing different things in different types of pants into my style such as flare denim we got the baggy denim I got some baggy cargos parachute pants this is all types of pants that back then in my confused era i would have not been wearing bro like i would have been saying them pants too big those are not for me this and that i'm only gonna strictly stick to skinny jeans and i know some of y'all are strictly in this era right now and y'all are trying to figure out how you can get out of this confused era like i just told y'all bro y'all gonna have to step out your comfort zone like that's probably gonna be one of the hardest things to do when it comes to your fashion journey is going to be stepping out your comfort zone and really figuring out what you actually want to wear because at one point bro i love wearing the skinny jeans but i don't feel like i had too much confidence in other clothes because i was strictly shadow blind behind skinny jeans like i was not looking at any other types of denims or anything bro i was just strictly stuck on skinny jeans and it really had me confused when it came to fashion because i did not know exactly where i wanted to go down the road with my style because like i said bro i don't typically wear skinny jeans to this day but there's nothing wrong with you liking skinny jeans but you're in the confused era because you're stuck on skinny jeans so what i'm saying is bro you can still implement the skinny jeans into your style if you feel like that's really you but what you can do is you can start stepping out your comfort zone and trying to make your style a little bit more versatile by adding like some parachute pants some cargo pants just all different types 
denim so you're not strictly stuck on skinny jeans because bro i'm telling y'all bro if you continue to only be stuck on skinny jeans bro the process of your style elevating is never going to come and your stuck your style just gonna suck forever until you make this change like that's something that happens with a lot of things bro like you gotta make changes for stuff to happen so if you're not willing to step out your comfort zone and make some changes to your style bro you're never gonna get your style to the point that y'all want it to be and your style is not gonna be elevated at a rapid rate your style is just gonna be strictly stuck at one standpoint until you decide that you want to come up out your comfort zone bro and i'm telling y'all bro that confused mind is gonna go away once y'all start to step out y'all comfort zone it's just really it's like basically like a roadblock just in the middle of you and your style bro like you're on one side and your style that you want to interpret is on the other side and you can't get past this wall till you decide to make some changes with your style so like i said bro i have been in that point i've been confused before bro and like i said bro it's not a good thing bro because when you're confused with your style bro the people on the outside can see that bro by the clothes that you're wearing and they can see if you're comfortable in that clothes people do talk so fashion people they can literally look at a person and tell if that person is comfortable in the fit that they're wearing that's just strictly off their fashion sense and what they know bro because i'm that person bro i can literally look at somebody and be like oh that fit is making him happy today or that fit has him down or he he probably think that fit trash like i can literally look at you and just see your demeanor strictly off the outfit so that's why i'm saying like bro to get out that confused mindset bro Step out your comfort zone. Start doing, start wearing and buying things that you're normally not wearing, bro. And trying to implement different ways to style different things throughout your style and not be strictly stuck on one thing, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Once y'all do that, bro, your style is going to start to elevate and your style is not going to suck anymore. But if you want to be that person that doesn't want to step out the comfort zone and you want to continue to strictly only wear one thing bro i'm telling y'all bro it's not gonna end good for you so if you want to stop being confused i highly suggest that you make some changes to your wardrobe and things that you are wearing i'm putting y'all on game and indeed is gonna wrap up today's video i hope the video entertains y'all i hope y'all like the video i hope y'all like the content as of recently because like i did state i'm this year i'm strictly focused on quality over quantity so y'all gonna get a lot more quality videos over the quantity of videos that i'm posting and i hope the videos that i'm posting are actually helping y'all in y'all fashion journey because that's what we here for but feel free to leave comments down below or feel free to leave your input on some of the things that i said in the video bro i will be Re, I will be interacting with y'all in the comment section below and also feel free to let me know what type of videos y'all would like me to bring to the channel I'm here for it bro I, whatever y'all want me to film I'll film it it has to be fashion related though because this is a fashion channel but like I said earlier in the video I do appreciate all the support that y'all been showing on the previous videos y'all been going crazy bro y'all been going crazy and I really do appreciate it and I love y'all bro I keep going because of y'all so keep showing that support and I'm gonna keep dropping these gems and keep helping y'all on y'all fashion journey but like i said that indeed is gonna wrap up today's videos me and boy ty aka ty not rich and i will catch y'all in my next video